Hi, I'm Ian Rinon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. Today is the 8th of August, 2024. In the Novus Ordo, this is the Feast of St. Dominic. In the, the traditional Latin Mass, it's the Feast of St. Jean-Marie Vianney. Basically, August 4 and August 8 is, uh, you know, interchange between these two saints. But since in the Novus Ordo, it is the Feast of St. Dominic, I am very much inclined to do this thing because it's also August 8 here in the Philippines, August 7 across the Pacific and perhaps um, perhaps west of the uh, west of the UTC uh, time zone. So at this point of the recording, so uh, it coincided with the second part of Dog Pack 404's accusations against Jimmy Donaldson and the Mr. Beast Empire. Now, much has been said, and I am frankly thinking a lot of uh, commentary creators are going to talk about this uh, on their own video. So do check out on that as well. Also, I am reacting or reviewing or, uh, you know, have uh, my first thoughts or first, uh, not really reactions, but first, yeah, first thoughts on uh, the video that Dawson, the guy behind Dog Pack 404, has um, uh, re revealed in his second video which is entitled, I worked for Mr. Beast, he's a sociopath. And I highly recommend that if you haven't watched it yet, pause this recording, pause this video if it's on YouTube, pause this if it's on Spotify, and watch it. For the love of everything that's holy, please watch the goddamn video. I beg of you, okay? Please watch it, all right? Uh, because all that I'm going to say here is about that, and maybe for an for extra credits, uh, or for extra homework, uh, also watch uh the video released by Jake Weddell at the same time because he also revealed there his own perspective about uh about his time with uh with the Mr. Beast company. Uh, which is, which would add which would add a few more contexts to the things that he said in Dawson's video. Yes, you heard it right, ladies and gentlemen. Do um, Jake Weddell uh, was interviewed in Dawson's video. And if you haven't paused at this moment, the TLDR version here is that it's absolutely mind-boggling and at the same time, absolutely tragic. So, if you haven't watched it yet, please, for the love of everything that is holy, pause this video, pause this recording, watch it, watch Jake Weddle's video, then come back to me. Do it now. If you have done so, and you're back, thank you very much. If you're still listening to me, and you haven't, watched it yet I warned you this is going to be fucking wild anyway ladies and gentlemen the reason why I correlated the feast of Saint Dominic to the to this video is because other than the famous motto of the of his order the order of preachers or the Dominicans or the black friars uh, which is laudare benedicere predicare to praise to bless to preach their other motto is veritas truth what is truth for christians you know who he is but suffice it to say that we anchor on this latin word veritas truth and i guess this is the truth that Jake Weddell has been revealing to all of us in Dawson's video that he has been manip manipulated during his time with Mr. Beast and even 
on his last ever interaction with Jimmy and his crew when he was, you know, challenged or he was um, invited to do a challenge that left him physically and mentally scarred. I am emphasizing mentally scarred because if you haven't, if you have watched the video, Dawson's video, he just can't control himself from crying. It was really traumatic for him. I, I definitely uh, saw the video and realized that he's fucking crying. He's, he, does, he doesn't want to remember this shit. And suffice it to say that he is, uh, he is saying that uh, Jimmy wanted to be the best YouTuber out there. Well, when it comes to subscribers, he is. He is the largest. But when it comes to quality and perhaps ethics, that's where Donaldson is found wanting. Because he's basically trying to cover up all of this shit from the from the illegal gambling to the to the manipulation of to the manipulation of uh um minors uh especially those who uh who are mostly of his fan base to rigging games to even harboring predators i don't want to be that much demonetized or un uh, let's just say un shadow banned by YouTube, but predators would be very much a strong term because his own best friend Ava Chris Tyson is one, and he also did employed someone who has been listed on quote unquote the registry, which is basically a list. Of sexual predators for the lack of a better term when it comes to the online algorithm and uh, there are even claims that Jimmy or his company allegedly violated the Geneva Convention when it comes to torture because quite frankly the description of uh, with Weddell in Dawson's video can be considered torture. It was absolute fucking torture. If it isn't torture, I don't know what is. And there's also this revelation on um, uh, one of the documents, uh, one of the Mr. Beast documents to employees where Dawson highlighted a policy there that says no does not mean no which is basically ordering his employees to shove to to push and then shove to get to their goals even if it means violating corporate uh regulations by other uh, companies or third uh, third party uh, individuals and he has a term for this which is basically pushing through no and you know what it's not just pushing through no, it's shoving through no. They are obligated to insist on doing things their way come hell or high water. And that's a very bad perspective or that's a very bad prospect if it is, you know, if it is done by other companies. So why are they doing this? Why are they allowing this to happen? Again, these are allegations. I don't know. Then, what very much is highlighted in this uh, video by Dawson's is when Weddell alludes Donaldson to his own deadbeat father. Because Weddell grew up, allegedly grew up, in a broken family where his father was, a, was an absolute bastard, was an absolute uh, degenerate, or should I say... Uh, deadbeat father for the lack of a better term and he basically fucked up uh Weddell and his mom and it sucks that he had to go through this and then to add, add insult to injury 
Donaldson is basically cashing on that shit. I don't know, but that's um that's psychological manipulation if you ask me, but then again, who am I in this in who am I in the, the commentary uh commentary industry? I am just speculating on these things, okay? And then as I said, they're harboring predators, sexual predators, especially of the minor kind. And I am saying that with absolute disgust, to be, uh, to be absolutely fair. There is a person named, uh, who is only codenamed as Delaware, but Dawson has uh, leaked uh, the uh, basic information of this man called Delaware, and he's basically uh, employed, allegedly, by Mr. Beast. Despite being on the registry, despite having that kind of record in a company whose target audience are fucking children. I mean, what can I say for that? about that? I mean, you can just connect the fucking dots here. You just have to connect the fucking dots. It's abso fucking lutely shady to even employ someone who is absolutely opposite of the values that you want to do to do it's just it just begs belief to be absolutely frank and you know i am very much happy that reed Duxer, the manager of Miss, uh, the man Jimmy's manager, Jimmy's former manager, as well as Jake, I'm not sure the name of Jake the Viking, but the guy behind Jake the Viking, I'm not sure his name. I'm checking on X formerly Twitter, because uh, he is the one of the first guys who said Jimmy knew. That's uh, that's that. So aside from Reed Duxer. Uh, there's also Jake Franklin, a.k.a. Jake the Viking. Viking, Jake Franklin, a.k.a. Jake the Viking. And then there's also Chandler Hallow, who has absolutely severed his ties with anything Mr. Beast to live his life as a Christian. Good for him. And you know, uh, it's also good for Dawson and Weddell to be out of the company. Because with these allegations... Let me call it, the adpocalypse has begun. And one final thing uh, about Weddell, he also shared his own video regarding this. And, you know, I just feel for the guy. I really do. He didn't have to share these things because it's fucking traumatic. And yet he had the, br he had the courage to do so. And you know, that was absolutely, fuck, I don't know what to say here, but it's, it's absolutely brave for him to, to say the shit that he has said. Despite that. Anyway, I don't know what to uh, say at this point because it's around 15, 16 minutes now. I have to... Uh, Cut this for, uh, you know, cut out the ad libs and all that shit. But suffice it to say that Jimmy Donaldson brought this against him, brought all of this shit against him. And quite honestly, he is the reason why the adpocalypse is among us. The adpocalypse has begun. <laughs>